Hey guys, it's Mrs. Hickey here coming from my home studio. Um, so we've been studying the studio habits of mind this year in art and one of those studio habits that artists use is stretch and explore. So uh, I'm stretching and exploring a little bit with this um, video today. I've never made a lesson um, doing a video and I hope if you've never made a an aluminum foil sculpture you can try and stretch and explore today too. So what you need for this project is uh, aluminum foil, um, masking tape, and then whatever else you have around the house. If you have sharpies or paint you can use. Um, optional if you want to even add more detail you can use um, glue and yarn and other things you find around the house. So let's get started. Alright, so you're going to start with some aluminum foil. I use the heavy duty kind, but you can use um, the not heavy duty kind. It'll just rip a little easier, so you want to be a little careful um, if you use the lighter kind. Right, you're going to tear out a piece that's about as long as it is wide. So you want to make a square to start out with. It doesn't have to be exact, but try to make a square. Um, and then the top part you're going to divide into three sections. So I'm drawing two lines here to divide the top of the aluminum foil into thirds. Um, and you don't want those lines to go all the way to the middle, about a third of the way down actually. And then the bottom you're just going to divide in half. So you need to draw one line down the middle to divide it into two halves. Um, now the center uh, where we didn't go all the way to the middle, that's going to end up being the waist. So, um, so you don't want to cut all the way to the middle because you'll cut right through the middle of your belly. So cutting with scissors, you can also rip if you're careful, but I, if you can rip too far easily, so I'm using scissors here to cut on those lines, not all the way to the middle. And now it might be a little bit helpful to see what this is going to look like. So I uh, took a second here to show you what the different parts are going to be. Again, that center part is going to be the waist. Um, the middle part on the top is going to be the head. Each side those are going to be the arms and on the bottom the legs. So your next step here will be to take the waist and scrunch that right into the middle first. You want to um, scrunch up your waist first then make your legs, squeeze out your arms into long skinny shapes and then you're going to take the head and kind of squish that down into a ball. Um, then you can take some time here to really form it. The more you squeeze, the smaller it's going to get and it's going to add more details. I used the scissors there to make a little kind of a mitten hand with a thumb that's going to stick up and then squish the arms down a little bit more. And that's going to be your basic human shape. I tried to get him to stand up, but he fell down. So you can just put tape on the bottom of his feet if you want him to stand up. This next part, you're going to wrap him up like a mummy using um, the masking tape. Um, you could leave him just as a as a tin foil man, maybe kindergarten, first grade, you might want to just leave them like that and use your imagination about what he can do. Um, second grade can start to add more details. Um, third, fourth, and fifth we've talked a lot about transforming so we don't want it to just look like a, a piece of aluminum foil, we want to really transform it so that um, anybody who looks at our artwork can see what we're imagining. So this is starting to add a kind of a skin to him so that we can transform him or her into uh, our own little character here. Um, 
this part takes a while I put it in fast forward um, even so uh, it still takes a little while for me uh, and I wrapped a little extra around there this one I gave her a little skirt and I didn't wrap her hands and her feet uh, yet I did those on not on video <laughs> um, so you can do this part with Sharpie um, if that's what you have at home you can just kind of color on top of the masking tape and add as many or as few details as you want to Here's another guy I made to practice. This one I did um, with acrylic paint. Uh, acrylic paint sticks really well. You want to make sure that you put something underneath where you're working because it is not washable. I think tempera paint would work too, but it might flake off a little bit. You can experiment and see if that works. You can add a little bit of Elmer's glue if you have tempera paint that helps it to stick better. So just painting, adding some clothes. the front and then you could wait a while to do the back um, or you can just hold it up do the back you can see a little bit of the tape on the bottom of his feet where I made him stand up and you can if you have things like a hot glue gun and uh, yarn at home. You can add more details this way. Um, add some little hair for her. And same thing with the guy here, added a little yarn on top. You could also just color in the hair with marker um, or use any kind of scrap fabric or anything you have. A little Sharpie to add the details on there. All right, I hope you had fun with that. Um, so to extend it, you can add accessories. Um, either you can make things for them or you can find things around the house. Like if you have tech decks or um, little toy car cars or trucks, you could put them in there. Um, you could build houses for them out of recycled materials. Um, you can make an animal instead of a person if you want. I put instructions for that on the website. Um, and also take pictures. So if you, um, you can put them in different um, places around your house or in your yard um, and take pictures of them doing different things. And please send those to me. I'll share those um, on our website and on our Instagram. Uh, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and creative, and I'll see you again real soon.